the game is extremely difficult like like for an average player it's very difficult right like just to beat the game but well once you learn the game it's not that difficult to beat but the speed run is very difficult this, yeah exactly yeah it's, it's just way harder than 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 beating the game do you get a lot of people coming in saying oh this game is awesome i played it with it when i was a kid but like no one could beat it right Everyone says. Yeah, I I get a lot of people always, you know, that never beat the, the the never see beyond level three. Like, wow, you know, this game is very difficult. And yeah, a lot of people is always very impressed by. And by that's the game. that's the tunnel area, right? That's the one. What, yeah, what do you guys call it? Three, turbo tunnel. Turbo tunnel. That's insane. Yeah, that's, even even my it. my IRL friend I was just talking to earlier today, he's like, yeah, I love that game. I can never get past the uh, the speed racer part. I was like, yep, that's. That's by far the hardest part. Yeah, it is. It is for sure. Yeah, so... Yeah, like... Um, <clears throat> it's just so difficult. <laughs> like, but it's it's not that difficult if you memorize, like, what is coming up. Like, like, like in the... Like, like in every other kind of speedrun or replay through, right? Once you beat a game, you play through it a second time. You're obviously already going to have extra knowledge, right? Yeah, exactly. But you know, like back in the day, like with with no no info or anything, like and and a few games were kind of way easier compared to this one. Like the the, the execution, it has to be kind of on point. So that that makes it really difficult for a lot of people. Yeah. And also, well, one one really cool thing about the game is that it's two players. Uh, so. But you have friendly fire. So. <laughs> is, okay, is is friendly fire always on? Yeah, it's always on. At least for this game, Baltos. Like later versions, uh, well, later releases or similar games, Baltos and Double Dragon. Like they, they had the option. Like yeah, because I turn I, it off. Yeah, I remember Double Dragon having like what was it called? Like mode, mode A, mode a and mode. And mode and, B. Yeah, and B yeah. was like friendly fire, and then wasn't there like a mode A and B where it was like co-op but not friendly fire if yeah, i remember yeah, correctly it, okay. it, it was and that made it much more enjoyable I and think i think so. that was a, a really smart uh, feature they added like i, I think they learned from <laughs> from what happened with the very first game <laughs> <laughs> yeah and and then eventually that's when they came out with the battletoads double dragon combo uh game right yeah yeah, yeah. That, that was also really amazing i, I think you know like the, the company who made the battletoads it was rare um oh yeah yeah okay yeah, so they made really great games like later on, like for SNES, Donkey Kong Country, N64, like Conquer Kong Bad Crazy, for a day. A lot, of, a lot of really awesome games. Uh, but uh, you know, this was the early days, and they really learned a lot. But you know, they were not afraid, like like uh, teaming up with big names. Like Double Dragon was, I mean, it was a cool game at least. Double Dragon Three was. Kick ass in, in yeah. the NES. That that was one, it's still one of my favorite games. It's just so cool, co-op, um, and definitely they they brought Jimmy and <laughs> and Bimmy. Bimmy, yes, yes, you know Bimmy, Jimmy and Bimmy. <laughs> I know Bimmy and Jimmy. <laughs> Bimmy and Jimmy, yeah, they brought them together. So so was that was yeah. that Double Dragon one or three? That they they didn't even proofread the first screen. It, it, Double Dragon three, I three. think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for the anyone story. who doesn't know, it's um, Billy and Jimmy, is it not? Yeah, Billy and Jimmy are the names. Is the, are the names, and on the very first screen of Double Dragon three, they actually incorrectly spelled it, and they put Bimmy, B I M M Y, didn't they? Yes, they did, and <laughs> that that was just hilarious. Like oh. I, I think most of us find it because the angry video game, but still, like it's it just like Bimmy. Who's Bimmy? I mean, like <laughs> they present Billy and Jimmy. Who's Bimmy? <laughs> it's like maybe it was the it, it was the cousin, right? That is amazing. So, is there anything you want to say before we get this run started? I just want to thank my mom and everybody who. Yes, no. yes. Um, the gold medal is well, mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the gold medal was mine. <laughs> okay, so what, what am I? So no, I, I am. Have nothing to say. Okay, I am. Uh, the first toad is coming out of the ship. You want to get to that point, and we can press play uh, at the same time. Yep, it's opening on. Yeah, you're you're giving this look like eight thousand two hundred and three. Here we go. That's yeah. Well, like, actually, it helps to have opened your stream. I I can just synchronize to where you were. Okay, so. perfect. So we're gonna do yep. a three, two, one, and then on go, we're both gonna press play. Okay. 
Okay. So three, two, one, go. And you can say whatever you want. The floor is yours. Okay. Baltos, Whenever... the short, the shortest uh, stage ever. It only lasts three seconds, so it is called pointless split. Yeah, that was stage one. So okay, so is a... that warp always there? You just have to get there fast enough, or is there something? Yeah, you have to get fast enough. It's always there. It lasts like seven seconds. So if you spend more than those that time, it just will disappear. It disappears. So the average the person is not even going to notice it. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, because you're punching the rats, but well. Uh, this is the infamous level. Well, the run you're watching, first of all, is any percent. So yes. that run uh, is beating the game as fast as possible. That means taking warps. And well, can we pause right here? Yes, we can pause right here. I'm at 41.85. Yep. Yeah, well, it's just it's just so much to explain. Uh, do it. Yeah, do it up. I want to know because I, you, I have can... no idea what you're doing here. I know you go off screen, like you get, you get on it, and then you die once, and then you're put yeah. back. So go ahead, yeah. The, pro the problem with this run is that everything happens really, really, really fast. <laughs> um, so <Right. laughs> I think, uh, like, if we can just go back to the beginning of level three. Sure. Um, yeah. So I can explain uh, after kicking the second rat, uh, after booting the second rat, if you can pause. Okay. I'm um, in. So, yeah, kicking those rats, it is, um, well, I mean, you can run in this game by double tapping, right? Okay, so you double tap forward and you start run speed, right? Yeah. Okay. So you can um, also just walk around, but there's a strat that is very used in, during this speed run that is called the dash jump. So you double tap and jump at the same frame that you did the second tap so it's like a frame perfect trick uh, it is not it's not pixel related or anything but you have to coordinate both hands so right there after the second boot of the rat like you see a dash jump mm -hmm. immediately so maybe we should start like the beginning of the level but i just wanted to point out that technique is called dash jump and dash jump. and it is it is really difficult to get like it, it takes a lot of coordination so most of the time we are doing all the time those dash jumps and uh, if we fail it like sometimes we don't die but it costs time because uh, the dash jump you're you're basically running oh in the God. air or it's just, it's just the speed uh, that you will have running which is faster in the air also lets you do a headbutt in the air so probably we will see some so let's just i don't know like that's that's um, insane. Whenever I watched, I always thought you were just it was just a dash j jump like you just hold forward and and uh No, 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 no. no that's it, insane. It, it, All these it, little it's not, texts. It's, it's not like that. Like like if you dash and then you jump, uh it will just go to the walking speed and and it is way way slower. So if we can start in 720, I think we can just keep uh, sure. putting together the video. I'll go back. Yeah, yeah. I'm at 8 exactly pretty much. At eight exactly, okay. Okay, right. so three, two, one, go. So you just okay, pretty so much I, did it there, and then you boot, and then you do it again there, and then you boot. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a normal dash, but yeah, the, right there in the gap in the, between the islands, I did a dash jump right after uh, here. I did a dash jump and I hit both in the air to hit the <laughs> those rats. So that is the, the the two frame perfect tricks. Then I between the islands I did another dash jump. I will try another one here. I failed the first try. The second try I failed it. So that cost me half second. Uh, it doesn't look like a mistake, but here is the big thing. Okay, uh, I just paused I grabbed, it for you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Right there, I grabbed the bike. Uh, so a lot of people never got past through this level because of the the you know the bike section that there's a bunch of walls and a lot of checkpoints to go through and and it, it's it's quite difficult well in the speed run of this game um the first person person to find how to skip it was a tasser of course of course us. <laughs> of course <laughs> of course but the the first person to adapt that to real time speed runs it was jc583 which right currently is the world record holder for this category. He got it like two weeks ago. The Damn. world record. He Damn. got it back. But um, but yeah, uh, like the first thing we do is take that bike down. But once again, it looks as simple as what we do. But it is hard. It so, is hard. So when I People look at that, I think you get on the bike and you just like hold like 
left and up, left, and you just and then, kind of fall. Yeah. Is that what you do, or? No, you don't. <laughs> of course not. First of all, speed first running. Of, of course, of course. No, yeah. There's too much <laughs> hidden stuff in in this run that uh, we just do it like if it will be nothing. But yeah, let me explain to you. You grab the bike. Well, I mean, before grabbing the bike, we try to to be running. So the screen starts scrolling a little bit after. So the toad is a little bit farther in the right. Having said that, we have to decrease our speed prior of grabbing the bike because if you grab the bike it keeps your momentum and then when you well first of all in the bike you can also double tap and it will dash mm -hmm. so what we do is like we decrease the speed once you grab the bike double tap back and then at certain point you press diagonal what happens when you press diagonal you start losing the the, the dashing speed you had so it has to be very precise the way i do it is just uh, grabbing the bike and and doing a jump while double tapping and then pressing diagonal Sa same concept but uh, it's uh, it's just tricky and that yeah. is just the first part of a really big skip that is gonna skip the whole turbo tunnel or the rest of the level it's just gonna be an early exit so before we before we go to the next section, um, as soon as the the dying animation, do you already know in your head when playing if you've done it correctly, or do you have to wait until? Uh, the no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, <laughs> here comes the funny part about this trick. Um, the first thing is you want to die, right? It mm -hmm. doesn't matter like exactly the way you die, as long as you get the bike off the island and going down there before crossing that barrier the checkpoint as mm -hmm. long as you die before crossing that then you're good to go you're good to like kind of break the game if you want to call it like that because the game is expecting you to to cross that first barrier right exactly that first checkpoint and and after you die it will respond you there that is like a flag but since you grab the the bike and the game doesn't have a way of telling you like like wh wh where do i spawn you right so what happens uh, in the very next screen, the game puts you at the very beginning of the level, but with the bike. And that is something that is totally unexpected. And the game kind of doesn't know how to handle that. <laughs> so you pretty so, much yeah. trick the game. Yeah, yeah, you, you definitely trick the game. So uh, we can, well, in the next section, in the next screen, right after you respawn, of course, we lose one life. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the hearts in the top are the lives, right? Uh, yep. So you start with three and you have a zero life. So pretty much you have four lives. You, you just see three lives. So uh, there is different setup of getting the glitch. We call it the glitch, just the turbo tunnel glitch. It, it is very tricky because a lot of outcomes can come from this screen. A lot of soft locks. Uh, I did a run at AGDQ this year. Yeah, a lot of and resets, I right? I soft the game two times. I soft locked the game two times. Oh uh, and also I I didn't go it a third time. Then the fourth one, I, I succeed. But uh, it's, it's so random. There has been different setups. When this trick was first found, we spent like... A, like one stream of four hours just to get it once or twice. And now you guys, would you say this is a natural turnoff for somebody trying to, you know, maybe world record grind in this? Is, it, is this a deciding oh, yeah, yeah, factor, yeah. you there, think there, so? There, there, yeah, of course, there is no option. There is no option. Like yeah. this trick alone saves two minutes and three seconds. Of course. So, so anyone out there, there thinking to no grind, way... you get good at this trick, let me tell you. Yeah, you will get good at this trick. We have kind of setups that are more reliable, like the one I do. If we can kind of uh, sure, continue, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm at the same point as you. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Okay, so you do. Okay, jump, so I try. Boom. Yeah, I I double tap to the front, then I release, then I start pressing left, and boom, we are in the next level. So I noticed there's something in the top right corner. What What is that? So hold on. I'm going to get there again. All right. So you jump, you yeah, jump, yeah. you go off. So I'm going to pause it right. Hold oh, on. yeah. Right just, there. There's something yeah. in the top right corner by the two-player yeah. score. What Th is that? That looks, that looks like a golden barrier. It's usually a barrier that, uh, well, I mean, not, not in the gold color, but... Uh, a lot of different things happens. Like sometimes an invader spawns. 
sometimes you get like teleported to a different level sometimes you get like a jumping toad like coming from there from the bottom of course uh, most of the time when you get the glitch uh, you get the flashing screen like yeah that that flash and and well <laughs> yeah i mean what, what it is it's a barrier why it's doing there i don't have a clue it's just just it's so and it's, it There's explodes too. too. It's so weird. Okay, so yeah, I explodes like it will be like a sprite. Like when, once you grab like a stick and you hit an enemy, uh, it can it can break like that. Especially the bones of of some walkers. Okay, um, why don't we why don't we give um uh why don't we give these guys a little bit of video time? We'll play through a good chunk of this level, and you can kind of call out a couple things as the level's going because this level's quite long, right? It's like a minute or so, and then the we, level four. Yeah. And then we can okay. we can backtrack on some of the things. Yeah, so, yeah, and of course, if people have some uh, questions, we can. So definitely, I'm definitely. Forty-eight. Okay. You're can forty-eight. You? Okay, I'll go to forty-eight. And forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. Okay, so three. Well, you have forty-eight still. Yeah, yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay. So you drop in. So yeah, this one so, is like you got you just got to get through as fast as you can of course right Yeah there's oh man it's just so much like like right there where are the logs I already I was, paused it I already paused it you can explain <laughs> If there's so much just get it out man get it out we Yeah need it. it's just like there's too many things uh, We we got like, we well, want the nitty gritty I I guess you can just kind of replay 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 uh, while I try to explain like um, Okay first sure of all, there is the the first size block. Uh, there is a trick that uh, usually you just uh, headbutt it and and he will go away. But uh, there was a strat found that you can jump and and do like a kick, and that is way faster because just in in one go to the right, it will it will break the barrier. So yeah. that is like one one thing uh, to start with. Um, but then uh, when are the slopes? Like you can before. Uh, I think you have a two-frame window. Like before, before falling, mm -hmm. if you stop holding any direction and then you double tap to the left, you can get like a dashing speed uh, out of the out of the slope. And oh, I, I see got it. it. I see it there. Yeah, I got it in the very first one and in the second one. So that allowed me just to run past by the snowman. Wow, also, there it is, right there. That's cool. I never even noticed that. Very yeah, cool. and it's it's very it's very tricky. So right after I bypass the snowman, also, if you hit the snowman like closer, like it will just make a like a punch animation, a super punch, the famous super punches from Battletoads. <laughs> but uh, that costs time, and every single time you get like a super punch, it makes lag frames, like six frames of lag. Yeah. For that reason, like while falling, you have to switch and, and hit immediately. That will make a punch in the snowman, and a punch doesn't cost any lag frames, but he will take it off the screen because if you leave that snowman, it will create lag. Yeah. Like, because of the ice block and some sprites that were on the screen. So that so, th that right there is something that n not even a viewer, unless being told, would even have any idea. So somebody could be watching, they're like, I could beat this world record. That's not even good. They wouldn't even know about stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can't yeah. even tell by watching it. So yeah, like... you can. You cannot even tell that it, it saves time or why it was like that. But yeah, a lot of a lot of this is very intentional. Leg reduction um, strats are such a, a famous like secret strategy that all RTA speedrunners use. Like they're so important because it's like other ways of saving time. It, it's it's amazing. Okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So right there in the bottom, there is the ice block and the. Um, I, I the same strat was uh, kind of uh, figured out by Tionic. This one actually just jumping over the ice block and and doing that kick. Usually we were doing a dash jump, which was way more difficult because the dash jump is kind of frame perfect. Uh, this jump over the block, it, it is still well, it's it's not frame perfect by any means, and but it's just way faster because the recovery time is just way faster also the way you kick the block it doesn't create too much lag frames yeah we just uh, run after immediately and cross the barrier um, then there is the fourth slope going up section if you just play the video then um, right there uh, that that section is kind of tricky because you have to don't have speed uh, to left or right, so you can just do straight jumps and and it is 
is really, really fast. Really fast. Um, if you do it properly, you don't get hit by the ice block. Uh, yeah. Sorry, by, by, by the snowballs, by the snowballs of the snowman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, at the top, you want to run and hit the snowman. So Right there. Yeah, the that's snowman, so fast. Yeah. You hit the snowman with a headbutt. Um, the reason why you hit, hit him with a headbutt is because uh, it takes two hits usually, but the, the running and hitting with with a headbutt is just it's gonna transform into the snows. Yeah, it's the most powerful, then, right? And then it, he gets drops the snow. Okay. Yeah. Then, uh, well, right after I land in the very next slope, I do a dash jump there. Oh my gosh! Is, I didn't even notice yeah, that here. I need to see that again. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do a dash jump and I it crosses the going up the the checkpoint and then i i do like a oh, because i'm because i'm dashing that helps me to jump over the pork pine yeah okay that's so that, that's pretty cool then right after that i i jump to the pole and i dash immediately that is something that is not very noticeable but uh, it is there and okay after so down just... these four little hills are you trying to do the same thing as you did in the start you're trying to get that double tap uh quick drop no i mean in, the, in this one doesn't really matter uh oh you gotta in, wait in, down those hills yeah because you have to wait for that ice block that yeah. ice block is key for uh for the next section we i i wait in the platform there for the ice block uh but the the, the real question is why i don't wait in the bottom is because um there's a snowman that spawns there and, and if you spawn the snowman it will start throwing uh, snowballs and it will make kind of very complicated and very easy to get hit. So in does order it does to, it create does, lag as well? It also creates lag. It also creates lag. Speed strats, so, guys. Speed strats. So yeah, speed strats. So we just wait for that uh, ice block and and then we just kill it and the the snowman doesn't even shoot anything. So we that barrier takes two hits. Uh, the one with the ice block there. And here comes like the very hardest trick for me in, in the entire game. It looked like you hit your head that, too, like you almost didn't make the platform. Yeah, like in in that specific slope that uh, you kind of pass uh, right crossing the checkpoint with the ice block. Uh, it is the trick called the double crazy dash jump. At least that is what it was the name. <laughs> But strats keep changing. Uh, during this run, it was double crazy that jump. So basically, in that slope, if you like, you have to wait like a half second. But you cannot jump from the middle of the of the slope. Like the slopes have something really strange that it's kind of frame dependent. Like it can oh, eat God. your inputs. It can eat your inputs. So if you are like running and then you try to hit bot, like sometimes it hit bot in place without even doing the jump. And you'll just and fall to your death, right? Almost, uh, almost, almost. So but the, the thing is that you, you, you can do it at the top, but the, at the top, like since you're falling and you, it has to be very precise. So in this case, I did it kind of uh, in the, in the lower part. So I did a frame perfect dash jump there, and then you land, you have to wait a tiny bit because if you do it immediately, the snowball that is coming, it can hit you and it will kill you, it's instant death. Yeah. So that's like a double frame perfect trick that is, is very difficult to do. And uh, I, I, it's just a major reset point. It's a major reset point because it's, just, it's so easy to screw that up. Jesus. for different reasons <laughs> i just did a, a pause play and it's just like so precise like right there you start going down right there you're close to the edge i think you start boom yeah. oh man that's and then the snowballs also, right there exactly what you're talking about if you damn yeah. also, also once once you clear that double dash section there is the there is like well i just run the slope and do a head bolt and then uh, i just do very precise uh, execution like uh, it's just uh headbutting over a snowball but it, it, it is a perfect timing because if you do it too soon you will get hit if you do it too late you cannot do the second one so it's, it's a very precise trick like uh, yeah. right after the double crazy dash jump and this is after that is it just good tech to the next snowman is it just like good yeah. precise tech movement and it yeah, always good takes... precise tech movement to avoid uh, having to hit the snowman and to avoid losing time. So, you know, like that super tech, it, it is just to save 
0.2 of a second. Mm -hmm. Also, <laughs> where I where I paused is is a good spot for any of you guys out there who don't actually notice. But you can see at the top here that the the ice block is actually falling. I never noticed the ice blocks whenever I'd watch your runs. I was like, why is he taking so long? And then you see the ice block, but you can actually see the ice block before before you go down if you're paying attention. I never noticed that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, then. Um... That precise uh, part in the bottom uh, with the snowman um, is just two headbots, and then there's oh, there's a strat that I sadly didn't got in my PV. It's called it's what we call the ninja punch. Well, I call it the ninja punch. Uh, like like you turn very quickly uh, after crossing the snowman, and you try to hit him with a punch, but I couldn't hit him with a punch. I did a. Uh... <laughs> Well, it, it just do the super attack, uh, but uh, it's possible to kill it very fast and it reduces the lag. Yeah, now I've finally seen the ice block that you were mentioning <laughs> in your stream, of course. Uh, yeah. So, well, that that next section uh, this with is the ridiculous. ice block. Yeah, we have a, like a floor clip. So you have invincibility frames right after getting hit. Mm -hmm. So you want to stay as close as you can to the to the spikes in the right side so right after getting hit by the snow uh, the the snow the, block yeah the snow block the ice block sorry uh, you have those invincibility frames to just clip there probably you have like a four three frame windows like uh, how far you can be and, yeah just uh, a clip through just enough room almost but you may be wondering why we go back there and then again back. It's like <laughs> let me let me try and guess because I am wondering. I'm wondering because you 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 start on the left here and then you go to the right and then you go back to the left. Does it have yeah. anything to do with um, because you clip there? You didn't hit any loading lo like loading zones up above, so you have yeah, to go to the like right that. to like... load the level or else it won't load correctly. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, how the pro the game is. Uh, program you have to cross the checkpoints in order uh, so you're crossing so a checkpoint it, it, there it, yeah if you skip checkpoints you cannot beat a level oh my gosh like that. that's so that's sadly rough. you ha you have to go in order so for that reason we go back a little bit and then uh, it's enough to spawn the enemies and the barrier the barrier has a checkpoint after it 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 is killed by the mm -hmm. the ice block so the really cool thing is it's like that boot you get there with the ice block like if you do it precise you can get that boot and it's pretty fun it feels really refreshing because you just boom man you feel like a football player <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> right yeah but uh, th there's many ways of getting that uh, ice block sometimes it gets like uh, the 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 very quick one that it just goes immediately to the to the hole in in my PB, I got a an okay one. Mm -hmm. but well, after after I cross the checkpoint, uh, right as as soon as I land, I do a dash jump. Once again, it has there is a lot of dash jumps, and and if you fail dash jumps, well, it it takes time. Like uh, due to that dash jump that I did uh, after after just just crossing the the checkpoint in the in the top after the ice block. I did um, well. I, I save time there because I'm running. I I pass the port pine without hitting me, and then well, it's just some some head bolting movement uh, that you do. Yeah. And right there, there's a stalactite right there in the bottom after some precise dodging. Yeah. The stalactite is is a barrier, but if you press down, that is the way you dodge it. So you have to hold diagonal. I just saw down. that. Yeah in order to be able to cross a barrier um so i have a if question you don't hold that the barrier is just gonna it's just not gonna let you pass <laughs> yeah. yeah well uh the one question i have how come when you throw the snowballs it's four but this guy it's like six well it's just that's the way it's just the way it is, it is. there's and, no like reason it's... or anything okay okay I, I when i saw that i was like why is it why is it so I many it's eight actually <laughs> oh my gosh yeah, it is eight. It's two in the top, one in the bottom. Oh wow, no, it's not eight. It's more. Oh Damn gosh. it, man! It's ten. It's ten. Oh my gosh, I got, I got to go back and, and I got to. We got to count these guys. We got to count. Yeah, these. we got to count. These. That's new tech right there, right? <laughs> How one, many snowballs two, three. does it take a barrel to be break? <laughs> That's four, five, six, seven, eight. What? Nine, Nine ten? ten. Yeah, yeah, it's ten. So, is this a warp zone or the end of the level? 
that is a warp zone. Okay. The end of the level is not right. It's almost there. It's somewhere there in the bottom. Still a, a little bit of level left. So but yeah, that's a warp zone. So, so we, we got our first precise... auto scroller here. Yeah, we can call it definitely the first auto scroller. <laughs> so those flashing things is mega warp, and those the, are the warps uh, designed by the by the game. So right now we have the snake level. The snake pit and yeah it's pretty much an auto scroller like you have almost nothing to do just right before the changing rooms i'm not sure which um second are you in the video i'm at 253 i think you just you jumped up you're just about to go into the the warp okay so you're in the second room uh, yeah w well before the second room there there is uh, like a dash jump you you're supposed to do but well is it to get into the out thing? Yeah, it's to get to the out thing. But I, I mean, sadly in this PB, I fail. I fail the out. The, I mean, the dash jump. I fail mm -hmm. it. Uh, I, you, also, so you're trying for it, right? I can see that you're, yeah, line, yeah, you're course, lining trying, up for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I, I tried, but uh, it just didn't kind of work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Fuck, difficult. That sucks, man. Sometimes, and that's the thing, man. You you really got to go for some of these things when you're as good as TMR in these games. Yeah, and also in the in the second room, I tried at the very beginning, but uh, but I didn't go it. So it's possible, like I had to shamefully ride the snake to the very top and then dash from the top of the snake. But it's possible to do a dash jump, and if you get it, like of course you have to time it. You can. Oh yeah, dodge, I saw that you, you tried you it. You can up there. dodge the spike and you just go straight to the warp. It is uh, one and a half second. Well, it's one second faster. It's just one second faster. So I lose one and a half seconds. From the with first one with the out and then that one. Yeah, well, yeah it was half second, the, the first part in the, without, and yeah, the second one, it was one second. Yeah. Uh, time loss. Sadly, still, I mean, it's just, it happens. It's, it's just too precise. And yeah, a lot of us miss from time to time. So I guess we are ready to go to the next level, which is called Intruder Excluder. So level before eight. we get too into the nitty gritty of level eight, um, right now, for an average speedrunner, hold on, let me let me pause it at two fifty nine oh three. So in your run right now, I can see on your splits you're like zero point zero. Yeah, uh, you're doing better than your PB at this point. Um, so for you on an average run right now, are you pretty are you pretty chill? Like your heart rate's not this this isn't anything abnormal for you at this point, right? Like you're not you're not into the super starting to get nervous or anything yet, right? Yeah, I mean, like, this is the thing. A uh, key moment is the double crazy dash jump in in the in the Arctic Caverns because it's so difficult to to get past that. So that is a moment that well, your heart will raise up a little bit. Okay, so you're you're past the high reset point. You're you're past the, a yeah, part that will I cause you to reset I, more than I, often. I passed the, the 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 first high high reset point, the first one. The there way I go. see Baldos is just like a bunch of walls, right? Like, <laughs> bunch of barriers know, you gotta bunch yeah. Of walls, so you just unlock the first wall, but still that is something huge. Dude, I <laughs> like have the for same this game thing. And the precision it takes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got the same thing in Mario Three. First things first, avoid the runaway hammer brother in World Three. Okay, now I can get to World Four. You know, it's like the same thing. You got your little mental barriers. Yeah, that is the way I, I put myself. It's not like I'm I'm under a lot of stress right now because it's still like a lot of more barriers to come. Yeah, not not only are you past these barriers, but you're on pace as well. So you have yeah, a yeah, chance now, right? Yeah, yeah, there there is a chance. Okay, so we're gonna so start at two fifty nine. Level eight probably is yeah. So you can do the countdown. Yeah, three, two, one. This level is beautiful to look at. Uh, you basically, you can skip enemies in this one. You don't have to kill enemies. It basically, you just want to go up as fast as possible doing uh, the, the way the electricity is work, right there. Uh, they work in a global timer of four seconds. So as long as you're having kind of the same pace, you can predict like if it's going to be on or off like there. I knew I, I just passed immediately. It was still on, but I knew it was going to turn off. Yeah. Uh, then I try a dash jump and here comes the fun part that is very difficult. This section uh, right there, the fans are soaking you and it's very difficult to control because it's not like it's, it's just like if you have played the game, you have been eaten by those uh, fans. They just suck you in and kill you. Then we have, uh, there are the top. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to pause it. Like, <laughs> let, I need you to catch yeah. your breath. 
<laughs> yeah, right before the boss. Yeah, it's just. Uh... I know, I know. There's a lot to talk about. It's okay. We got, we got lots. Yeah, of time. it is a lot, uh, especially. So... When you yep. took damage there, was that a time loss? Not really, because the fan, the, the electricity was on. You still need to wait for the electricity yeah. to, to go off. So if there was a time loss, it was 0.1 of a second. So that was not a huge time loss. What you really want to do is cross to the to the other side of the electricity. That, that's what you want to do. And I did, while getting hit still, but, uh, but I, I, I did that um yeah so <laughs> so so essentially like it's it's just like this is this is like a uh easy on the eyes level right watching you just kind of really skillfully use uh the mechanics of the game with like yeah. speed and jumping and, and avoiding things and the average person doesn't actually know about the global timer so it's even more impressive that as long as you keep up that consistency you're actually you know you're doing better yeah, than what I... it even looks as well right but yeah, I, I have to say, like, this level is pretty difficult, especially the, the, the last part, because you have to go really fast, and the hazard of the of the fans hitting you is like, <sighs> while you jump, you have to kind of release the D-pad, wait until it sucks you a little bit, then you jump, and then you jump, it's just, it's just like, you cannot sometimes. hold left. Yeah, and sometimes they suck you more, and, and you just get eaten, so, so that's... You... that's that's another point that just can kill your run, and and all that you do, that risky fun uh, part, is to save two seconds, because the way the electricity works is every four seconds, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do all that, like you saw, like in the last four uh, moving kind of uh, gaps uh, with the electricities, the one that I got electrocuted, like uh, yeah, you do all that risky stuff just to get to that second uh, part. Uh, to yeah, that right second there. movie platform so right there like uh, you do all that there because from there it's just two more jumps and and you're there in the boss and then, yeah. before it used to be a really easier and very consistent way of doing that uh, still with skill but it was two seconds slower Slightly so unfortunately, slower, yeah. unfortunately when the run is only 13 minutes around you have to go as fast as you can and every second, every millisecond really counts. So in situations like this, what if after say like the fifth jump at the start, what if you miss your input, what would happen? Like what if you went to jump and you didn't jump and you're like, oh crap. And then by the time you realize it and then you got your jump and you kind of gain control again, would you be off a cycle? Would you be losing more than the two seconds that you were struggling to save in the first place? Well, uh... At the second part, there is no room for mistake. If you do okay. any mistake, it, it's over. So like, it's you, more you punishing like than rewarding. Second. Yeah, you get of way more in punished. Yeah. Like, like, like the way you get punished is by dying, man. Like <laughs> most Re of the reset time, button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah full reset button. No, but uh, yeah, the second half, there is no room for error. In the first uh, half of the level, you can. You can miss one jump and still made it. Like if you just go way faster, but yeah. uh, but well, still, we're trying it's not to get past these want. fans in the second part, right? That's the ticket. Those yeah. Fans, yeah. Damn headache. Yeah. Well, and then we have Robomanos, I think. Um, so this guy seems. When I watched the run, this guy seemed pretty basic. I mean, well time attacks can kind of keep them in the yeah, air. Yeah. It seems like it, it, it's just like that in an ideal game. Sadly, in battle toads. Uh, every single time after you do the headbot, uh, mm -hmm. you have like a recovery time that you cannot control the toad. So, Weird. also like if you try to dash immediately after after apparently the toad recover, it doesn't it doesn't let you run. So it is a very specific timing that you have to do, so it lets you dash. And also, if you press, like, by mistake, a diagonal, either up or down, it will stop running, and you will just do a normal punch. So it has to be very precise. If you have a faulty D-pad, it's just going to be a nightmare. So very precise on your left and right on the D-pad, then. Holy jumping. And yeah, you, that's, that's... How did you lose time, though? I mean, I wa like, how did you lose time? Like, how did, how did the yeah. world record do better than you if you saved that two seconds? You got every hit. It wasn't the, was it the delay hit on this boss? Cause he the the boss went to like shoot right. Yeah. Um, Is that where you lost your time? How, how, uh, wow! I lost a second from the <laughs> from the world record at the time. Um, I guess so. 
right? Honestly, like, like maybe that electricity cost me a tiny bit. Oh, I see. See, like when right right when I started the fight of Robo Manus, I did a headbutt to the left. Ah. Usually, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> this is a good point to explain. The very first headbutt I did to Robo Manus, if you can rewind, it's just. It's what we call reverse headbutt. If you're moving to one direction and suddenly you double tap and 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 hit the the hit button in the same frame that you did the second tap, the the same work a double a, a dash jump works. It will do a headbutt, but it will stay in place. Normally, it moves to the right when you or to the left when you do a headbutt. Normally, it moves the direction, but that particular one yeah. it just stood stood in place. So due to that, I had to well run and dock and then just keep going the fight. So that that uh, single movement that, that I had to dock that that is the like that cost me 0.9 of a second. Insane. Because the point one of the electricity, yeah, that's that that's your second. So it's so strange because you stress so hard in the level to save those two seconds and then boom, something just I'm, like I'm, that, point nine gone. Playing too perfect. That that that's that's the game punish you for doing too perfect. Like I, I just do like frame perfect the, the dash and the and the hit. It was just frame perfect that that you just stay in place. Oh my god, hold on, I just gotta point out where I just paused. Yeah, right there where you pause it. It's just when you see the right numbers there, my four twenty sixty nine. I can't believe that. I'm sorry, I gotta point it out. How did I even pause there? Okay, anyways, back to seriousness, guys. Guys, quit clowning around. Okay? Yeah, Seriously. yeah, but that 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 is the thing. Uh, it's just it, it costs you time, and well, there's nothing you can really do. It's just mm -hmm. well, well, still, it's a good run. Um, it can just punish you. Still, it's better than playing save the 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 whole climb, losing two seconds, right? Yeah, I mean you gotta go, you gotta go on your on your muscle memory. You, you gotta you gotta do what you're what you're working towards. Like, there's no point in practicing a level for three, four, five hours, a couple weeks, a couple months to to get to that level and just wuss out, right? I mean, so you gotta go for it. You gotta go yeah, for these just, things. Yeah, just just at the moment, it's gonna happen. What well, has to happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was intruder excluder. So coming up is a water level. One one thing to point out about this game is that you have a lot of uh, a lot of different sprite animations with the toad. Uh, sadly, like in this category, you you don't get to see like the surfboard that you have. You don't get to see like a rope that you have. But in this one, well, you will see like the swimming animation, and uh, that is pretty cool. Now hold There's on, hold on, hold on a second. Up. When you first yep. start this level, are you pressing A at a perfect? Like is that a frame perfect jump or does the does the game you can buffer push, it. you can push. buffer it. it it's frame perfect but you can buffer it so okay, it's not so it's, it's easy not... and you're it jumping out of the bounds yeah you jump out of bounds right starting the level you fall in uh, some some fake water pretend water then you fall some more go back into water and then you s how much do you skip like a quarter of the seven level seconds. seven seconds seven seconds Okay. Well, I mean, if you got the normal level, probably it, it it skips more like twenty seconds or more. And then you but, swim uh, up to hit that checkpoint to make sure that the rest of the, the level loads, yeah, right? Th this is the thing. Like the, the the things that you're seeing in in light green is like water mm -hmm. outside, and the the ones with dark green is like empty space. So it's like gonna be like a fall. Same for the <laughs> yeah. for the blue ones. So what we try to do is like stay like in between like with the line of the wall so it doesn't push us to the water but uh, we are like uh, somewhere that we're falling yeah and well, we still can go back um so this is a spinner skip that was uh, found by uh, theonic he he found uh, he found that and it's just really sick because it's very precise like swimming in the in the water sections while trying to don't lose time a lot of different things can happen. This is another wall. wall. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally <laughs> go back inbounds as well, right? Yeah, if you go back inbounds, you lose those seven seconds, and at this point in the run, it's just pretty much a reset. But I mean, it's someone like someone as badass as you, like it's pretty rare for you to go back in bounds, right? Like you're you're pretty good no, at that. No, 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 no. It 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 can it can happen. Uh, well, I mean, in the in the very first part, no. But uh, right after you start like pushing the robots up and uh, moving in those 
there, there is like a little corridor and and the way well first of all the way we move the robots is to manipulate them because they shoot lasers if you mm -hmm. don't go for the robots like uh, the laser hits you and takes you ah you like that okay back, i see back into bounds yeah yeah and it's it's very tricky the, the swing has to be very precise because it's so easy to get back into bounds going up mm -hmm. and also it's so easy to fall in that corridor uh, down it's very tricky it's just really tricky and uh, that, that, that's another wall stopper like like the way i see the runs is first the 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 double crazy dash jump then you have like the fun section that is a, a little bit trickier and then third you have that section that the uh, the out of bounds we call it from terra tubes that particular beginning of the level is just so difficult yeah it's so difficult i bet and so precise at the same time uh it's too many things that it's, it's just like if you try it at the very beginning you will spend half an hour without trying without getting it so as, as sure. we were saying before at this particular spot are you telling yourself right now okay the out of bounds just worked like this is awesome I'm doing pretty good. And then from here on to the end of this level, is it uh, pretty much just uh, muscle memory and tech? Yeah. I mean, like uh, this wheel section. Yeah, like once you clear that uh, out of bounds, you're like, okay, I have a chance. Still, it's still not like you're nervous, like, oh man, this run. Well, I mean, the splits can be a factor, right? But the fact that I was not like ahead of world record or something at this point, uh, I was not that nervous. But yeah, yeah, you're answering questions in chat right now. You're, you're just pretty much being a straight yeah, up G. Yeah, you're, pretty you're much. The, the wheels is just an auto scroller. So yeah, yeah, you're not fucking so, around at this point. You're just going for it. Look at this. Yep. Yeah, well, it, that is the thing. Like, this is the first time, like, you have during the whole run, like, like, well, I mean, not the first time. The snakes level, you can chill a little bit, like, like, catch your breath. But like, mm -hmm. like, this is another part that after an intense section, you, you, you get to catch your breath. Okay, so of hold course, on. I, I paused at five twenty six. Okay. Yeah, when yeah, you, fine. You... I'm five twenty six. I'm right there. Yep. Okay, what is with these hitboxes? What's going on here? Oh, yeah. What's the... going on here? I don't understand this. Every time I watch you, I'm like, he died. There's no way he yeah. got past. What is is it you or is it the spike that have the janky hitboxes? Is the, is the spike, like, basically the bottom half of the spike is not active. Um, those big ass spikes. So yeah. the, the toe the can squeeze in, in during the bottom <laughs> half and you make that, that spike skip. So if they're not as scary as you make it look. Yeah. But still a little scary, right? Can they kill you in one hit? That's it? They're just... Yeah, yeah, they, they kill you in one hit, boom. Oh my yeah. god. That's also, so... like, you, you can also... Those heals that are right there are random. Uh, so... Sometimes they can be in the middle of the way and they will hit you and you die. Dang, man. So you have to react, like, in, in that part after the spice keep or, or right before, like, uh, you want to get the eel in the bottom and you want to don't hit the eel because it will stop your swimming. So you will yeah. lose time. And uh, you have to react as well to the second eel, like, if he goes towards you or, or he goes to the opposite direction, trying to dodge it. Like, I got very good first eel, like, it just went down. So I was keeping myself in the right side. Sometimes they just charge you with the electricity and, well, they don't insta-kill you, but they did, they do three of damage. So that is not really good. Well, right they slow after you the down eels, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, that will slow you down for sure, yeah. Right after the eels, I got... Um, there's like a going down section that apparently nothing happened right before the the fish. <laughs> yeah. There is a there is a hole like in in the like spinners or fans or whatever are those, and some some fishes can spawn from there. Um, nothing really happened there. Yeah. And then now you so, go. Yeah. Then you just get more water wheels. Um, yeah. And then you go past the spike. Oh wow, that shark was close to you. And then you hit the checkpoint, right? Yeah, right there in the checkpoint. I, let me move there just to explain. So that checkpoint it starts with uh with the shark. <laughs> well, I mean the with the with the spike skip. So what we do in that checkpoint is just very precise because the shark is really close to us. Uh, well, I mean I, I I'm not I'm not sure if we're in the same checkpoint. Five fifty six. Five. Yeah, no, we're not. Are you we're further? not. I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, like all that section that you can you can just play it until you catch up. I'm like yep. in six and six twenty nine. Yeah, that's uh, fine. You were talking about yeah. this where you go down and you do the swim above the spikes, and you said sometimes there could be a fish there, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, not only one fish. Sometimes it can be a whole family, like three fishes that they, <laughs> they hit family. you and they, they they charge you into the spikes and boom, you run, just die. Damn. And it's so hard to even do anything because there's no reaction time. Like it just spawns and kills you immediately. Yeah. You cannot punch it because you're in the water. You are at the mercy of the fishes. All right. So, so you just yeah. got. I just got the five thousand check checkpoint six twenty nine. So three, two, one, go. So we start with a spike skip. Then uh, we do a spinner skip, jumping there, skipping the spinners, just a free fall. Then we punch the the hit. We do a trick right there that we jump there and we go out of bounds. So we are able to run and do that headbutt. So maybe that is worth going back. Yeah, I just uh, went back. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's too much, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, why, too why many are... things. Yeah. Why are ducks an enemy in this game? Especially little little ducks. Those ducks are evil, man. Evil Those ducks. ducks. Are evil, man. I thought they, ducks they were They just cute. insta kill you. They yeah, they look cute, but they insta kill you. Okay, so, so is that double punch to line up uh, for that spike skip there? You you stop in yeah. the water and you punch. Is that so you can yeah. line perfectly? Yeah, it is. Um, we punch there. I mean, usually you can punch even more depending on. If if you are feeling lucky or not, like but the the way I got it, it was it was kind of a double punch and that was really fast. That is because that is the spike skip and it's uh, well, that was the only setup we had like like to skip that section. So you're risking particular. it right there. I've seen you do that before, but it it no matter what, it's a it's a risk. It's scary. Yeah, I mean it's it's almost frame perfect that that thing. Uh, that is why, like, lining up with the punches to the spike, that is what we do. And that's a big and time it, save, too, isn't it? Yeah, that is another, like, seven seconds time save. Ooh, those, I love those time saves. Those but, are the fat But the time thing saves. is that the, the, the fish in the bottom can... The movement is RNG. Sometimes it just goes up. Uh, lucky for me, it just stays down. Yeah, that think... evil duck. Wow, those ducks move fast. The other ducks didn't move like that. Well, I mean... It's just because it triggered the animation of the dog moving. Okay. Like, like usually is that is when it starts hitting you, and and yeah, it just insta kills you. It, it is a really scary thing, and and yeah, it kills you. So right uh, after the punch, uh, the frame perfect punch, then we just do a swimming up, uh, very quick, and then we have the fall. So it looks also, like you can die into the end of the level almost. Yeah, you actually die, but while you're dying, because I have momentum to the right, uh, with that boost, uh, you you manage to cross the checkpoint, and that checkpoint is to clear the level, so Boom. that is what the game registers. Like, you die, but uh, after you die, it takes a few seconds until Whoa. it responds to you. So it responds like a screen for a brief after the... Yeah, and it's all pixely. It's all pixelated, but it took one life uh, away from me. What? Look at this. I'm paused at 704. So is this natural? E even if you beat the level normally, will this always happen? No, 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 no. Normally you take the spinner, so that's like a propeller taking you down. So you're you're kind of safe to go. Oh, um, so it's still taking the life because you died, but you beat the level yeah. as well. Okay, well, okay. You beat the level, yeah. Okay. So that's that's a good trade, man. <laughs> okay, so that's now totally a good trade. Totally a good trade. I agree. Yeah, skip the spinner. Get that. Get the heck out of here. So we have another one of these impressive levels. Is this also based on time, the rat race? Um. Time is a relative thing, Einstein will say, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, I mean, you don't have a global timer for this one in particular. You have with the gases that are coming out. This level looks fun. It is really fun. Uh, so I noticed know. when I was watching your run, um, I couldn't tell if you were upset or if you did something really well and that was your way of expressing oh, it. You said something about oh. a single frame hit. What were you referring to? <laughs> okay, like if you notice, uh, well, uh, once once the rat spawns in the top, like you, we, 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 the way we do it, we have a perfect fall, and mm -hmm. then we hit immediately the 
there's a dynamite uh, with a timer there. We hit it immediately, so that will cause the, the rat to fall. Usually the level has three rats that you have to go through and then uh, you get to the final boss in the bottom of the stage. But well, after having the perfect fall and hitting that, then the rat is falling. Uh, falling. So there's different strats, like you can hear the sound of and after it gets to a certain pitch, you can start the dash. So you want to hit the rat in the with the headbutt so it goes up yeah but the second headbutt like the rat has to pass your your head like it has to be below your head okay in order to trigger the boot if you do it before it will just do another headbutt but the reason why i was like so kind of um uh, nervous clenchy and suspiring and everything is because i almost missed that rat I almost met that rat. Like it was almost about, like if the rat touches the ground yeah. before I hit it, I cannot get the skip, and that is the end of the run. So and you were you can so see, close to screwing up. I was up. so close, man. Yeah, that is why. Like I was like, wow. Yeah, let's see. And you know, in let's fact, see. that 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 way I did it. It is the quickest way, but of course, it's just out of the hands. It's Hold just on, out let's of the hands. let's stop for a sec. This is this is reaction. Run reaction, this is it. Fuck that hit, man. Fuck He's that talking hit, about it right man. now. Like, there was like a fucking millimeter or two. Oh, so close, so <laughs> close. Holy crap. I, I watched it too. Now that you explain it, that rat is. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, right there. You, you, you see, like, I saved half a second from the world record just because I had a really good fall, but that rat alone probably saved me like 0.2 of a second. It's just, just like you normally don't hit it that low, it's, it's usually higher. Fantastic. Now, this level, I can tell, is, is fairly basic. Um, yeah, now, this now one, the one is an auto-scroller for sure. Now, the one thing that I'd, I've never played this level. So, are you controlling the direction on your D-pad? Like, when you yeah. hit the arc, you press up. When you hit the edge, you press up or down or left or right. And what happens if you it, miss your input? Uh, the toad will slow down totally. Uh, okay, so it's totally. like an auto-scroller, but the... at the same time, you got to be good on your inputs. Yeah, that, that spiral that somebody called Sonic recently in my, <laughs> my chat, uh, it, will, it will reach you and it will kill you. It's instead that you start from the very beginning of the level. So this one, like for first time players, is a nightmare. I because bet. also, like if you don't hit at the very uh, corner, like because you're hitting a different input that is not the one that told it's supposed to go, like it will slow down as well. So it... Let's see if I can put this in perspective on how much you know. If you could sit at a table with a bunch of pieces of paper and you had your eyes closed, would you be able to draw this level? Like, do you yeah. do you have it memorized, all these directions? Like, you know yeah, what's coming up here, I, you know I what's coming... I have, I have, I have it, but, uh, like, like, if you would think, oh, why don't you do it blindfolded? Impossible, man. Impossible. <laughs> because you have to time out those, those perfect corners. You might know where you're going, but when the exact corner is based on no sound keys, you wouldn't be able to know. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Tank well, brigade. I mean, there is a little sign cue that, that, that it sounds like quick, quick, quick. Mm -hmm. every single time you change the direction. But uh, yeah, it will be impossible like to do blindfolded. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people really uh, see after the rat race, this is another part that you have a time to breathe, right? But uh, like right here in the boss, there was also a recent strat being found. That, yeah, it looks uh, like you well, just like kind of cornered him there. Yeah, and I'm finishing him like like uh, fatality. I just did a fatality on him, but well, let, let's just get from the moment you get scared, like before the fight with the orb. Okay, yeah, I'm. I just started there. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm at nine oh nine. Yep. Okay, let me go there. So the the first thing we will see, uh, we can. Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna press pause and play as you're talking. So okay, I'll, I'll keep so... pressing pause and play as you're talking. So like the first thing so you the, see. The... The, the very first thing you see is like I do a jump right after you recover you have two frame window to jump and it's so freaking hard to time the when, when you're gonna recover from out out of that scare like yeah okay it's just like, it's just like a there sound cube but not really a reliable sound cube but you have two frames so you immediately jump and do a punch to bring the orb down that that new strat saves like two seconds. Yeah, because normally, I'm just assuming, but normally the orb has his own animation of what he's going to do, and then it'll come down. 
yeah it just goes in spirals and and then yeah it just takes some time until it comes down exactly and then you do your so, headbutts and just then you do headbutts the the orb change uh, after the fifth headbutt you do like usually it's going uh, up in the very first uh, headbutt like just doing in spirals it's going mm -hmm. up but One, uh, after two, the fifth hit three, you do four five oh wow he did some weird like spiral near the ground yeah it just does that uh, after the fifth hit you have to stay like uh, if you don't hit the orb within a certain time it will just go out and it will also electrocute you so Damn. you want to hit the, the the orb let me see what kind of hit i did on the orb um yeah i pretty much got it kind of clean without a, a punch i i got a punch uh, within the first uh, hits but uh, that one didn't matter but after the fifth uh, hit on the orb like uh, you want to get a clean fight yeah so there was a strat being found that if you kind of press left and then very quick right for for once without double tapping and then you punch it's frame perfect as well um you can do the headbutt yeah, so, I noticed that too, because you'll do your fifth here, you punch left, right, and now you just headbutt again, yeah? Yeah, and, and it has to be very precise, all the headbutting there, because uh, you're, like, if, if you keep headbutting, you get closer and closer and closer, and, and there's a point pinching. that it will, it, it will just hit you. So every second one, I, I go back, and, you know, some of those hits were, like, I'm sure frame perfect. Uh, so it was a really clean fight, a very amazing fight. Yeah, it, I mean, it looked good. So, yeah, so so when you do those headbutts, you're, you're just slowly inching closer towards the screen, and then there's there's going to be, if you don't, like you said, there's going to be a certain point where, where you're not even hitting them, and you're just up against the wall, and then you're just losing it time It just electrocutes you, or, or it yeah. kills you. And yeah, that is just catastrophic for the run. Okay. That okay. is just catastrophic. So the revolution, right now, I know that I... there's a lot to this level. Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, like the design. Um but yeah like once again in the intruder excluder we have the electricity that we're in on a global timer that it is around four seconds in this level in particular uh, we can hit the play if you want i am the same time as, as you i think uh i press play for a second here i'm at nine okay. hold on i'm at 9 20 hold on i'm gonna pause it at a certain point 9 34 934 yes. yeah i'm right there so okay so three, three two one go okay yeah so in this level like usually that first rhino it takes three hits there's some rhinos that will take uh, four hits but the way you want to do it is to hit them in two hits for that reason um like you do a hit and then you run very close to them uh <laughs> to do a hit and then we have this part with the springs it's possible to do like a dash jump out of the springs which is also kind of frame perfect all right let's hold uh, on and pause for a sec um do you have to kill them because like th the platforms are there oh, yeah, yeah yeah you have to kill them well they yeah. like chase you or something or like like what is it that... uh, it, it, it won't scroll up the screen it won't oh. scroll up until you kill the enemies that is why we have to kill the enemies wow this when i first watched this and like when i've seen you do runs i'm like Shh, why wouldn't you just jump up like what the heck's yeah going that, on that would be really amazing like for the speed run that would be really awesome I mean, agreed it yeah would look really sick probably but uh but yeah you have to kill the enemies so okay. the kind of route is is taught about you know hitting and killing the enemies as fast as possible was and making activating sense. yeah Things, things that will let you progress. It's almost like the the arc certain arcade games where you have to kill every enemy before the screen starts to move yep. left or right again. Um, I'm assuming with these springs here, you want to land as close as you can to them so you can start your bounce as fast as possible. You don't want to do like a mega jump above them and then fall yeah. down on them and take all that time to land back on yeah. the springs, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Okay. So there is a... I don't know. Are you in a specific time? Uh, right 10.02. Okay. I'm... Right there. Three, yeah. two, one, go. More so springs. right here we have a, a rhino that uh, that that takes four hits, but uh, because of the the boot is faster. So mm -hmm. that that uh, cloud is fast to kill. So here we have some rhinos that eat you. So we kind of try to manipulate that to hit 
or very quick three times. Here is another rhino. And right here, like um, pretty much nothing really matters in here until you reach the this green platform that was right there. That yeah. is the one in, in, in the global cycle. It is possible to get uh, before it, it despawns. Then it looked the like first that one cost you a lot of time, though. Yeah, I mean, like if you're not in the cycle yet, yeah, it will cost you a lot of time. Well, here in the section with the trampolines, I go to Dash Springs. Uh, it's, it's it's hard to tell, but uh, I go to Dash Springs. So thanks to that, like right here after the blowing phase, I made it there to the green platform. It's still possible to get uh, four seconds faster than what I did in this run that looks sick. But is, that is what we call the dot cycle, and it's just pretty hard. Yeah, so right now, okay, I'm going to pause it for a sec. At, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, 11.15. So as I've been asking you periodically through the run, like, how are you feeling once you get to this point? So, oh, so right on, now, yeah. like, you're, it, like, inside right now, you're like, this is what I just did, like, three weeks okay, of I'm gonna, grinding I'm for. Gonna, I'm going to put this point. Uh, the moment that you just get hype nervous and everything is right after the orb fight that is the moment that okay. is the moment when 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 it's just you have this to level focus. will make or break it this level will be be your baby right this is like you get here and you're like i've i've got to really play super well and oh man it's, there's just so much yeah, platforming yeah. in this level it's so much platforming it's so precise uh, and, and the thing is that you come after the old fight that is definitely like something that is huge and look you're ahead yeah. of world record too like you can visually see that as long as you play this level the 10,000 times you've already played it perfectly before in your life as long as you do it like one of those times the record's yours like that grind that you've been at that you've been chasing can be yours so it's like it's so nerve-wracking to, it's to, so to nerve play but but uh, the level is really hard as well. So it's just, it's just not like, you know, the, 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 you, you're in the home stretch or something like that. No, man. It's just like, you have to give it all, man. You have to give it all. Honestly, like, the, the one thing I've learned is it, it's so hard to use your fingers really, really precise when you're nervous. Because your hands oh. are shaking. When, when people get nervous, like, your arms and hands shake more than ever. And, like, you have to yeah. keep your hands so still and, and calm. And you have to pres oh my gosh I don't even yeah the breathing you're making the me nervous just watching this right now I can't even handle it <laughs> no yeah it's just it's just like these blowing faces are a place where you can just catch a breath with just a tiny bit <laughs> man <laughs> but still it's just like that is a place where I normally like clean my hands the sweating of my hands yeah the thighs right you wipe your hands on the thighs your pants <laughs> yeah 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 exactly yeah. like every gamer it's just like that is the moment where you just do it really quick left right I uh, start right left yeah. Uh, yeah. You know the you drill, go, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, 11.15. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay, okay so you have... So right here, like, uh, the spawn of that rhino is, is, is set. Uh, right here, like, you have these clouds that sometimes uh, it will randomly charge. Lucky for me, didn't charge. So you want to get a spring to spawn... A uh, jump to spawn that red face as soon as possible. So that will spawn the next uh, trampoline. Uh, as as soon as it leaves the screen, so we wait there because it just kind of no say time. So right here is the last set of jumps in the trampoline. This gold cloud is really hardcore. Uh, I think I did fail here in this PV, um, like a jump there. Like I I hesitated there. You got nervous yet? Yeah, no, I saw it definitely. You no you no no. I didn't get nervous. The the thing is, if you can pause right before the dark queen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Right where where I stay there in place, it's not that I got nervous. Like there is a dash jump that you have to do from the platform right before the the trampoline. That uh, if you don't get it, like if you just keep going, it will kill you. In, and in fact, it will it could have been kill me right there where I I I hesitated. Like I just got kind of lucky. Oh my gosh! Look, it's right there on the. Pla I paused it. It's right there on the platform too. That is uh, that is ridiculous. The, the platform right before those springs. That is the the platform uh, that uh, you have to do at that jump. Uh, oh my gosh! So you you have there like uh, three four springs. But okay, right... so go yeah. no go ahead go ahead. Yeah, right right before like if you fail that dash uh, jump, uh, you have to 
well, hesitate like that or just play in a very different way. But yeah, with all the nerves, I, I didn't think like what to do. I still was like, okay, I, w I will say like some here. I was pressing right. Well, it's just a blowing freaking cloud. Yeah. Yeah. So now I have a question though. Y when you split minus 4.3, so you saved almost a second, not quite, but two. What happened in the world record in this level? How did you save two seconds? Was it it's like just, a rhino, or was it just basic no, no, platforming? It's, it's, it's very difficult, this level. It's very difficult. Okay. So. As I told you, the, the green platform spawn in, in cycles of four, right? Mm -hmm. So in the middle of the level, there is a there is a cloud. Well, I mean, there, there is several wall stoppers, but the, the deciding point is the cloud that you get, that is RNG if it charges you. So if it charges towards you, and you kill it immediately, you save time. Uh, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna find in the video what is the deciding point. Now, while which we do, is not while the deciding we... point, but it's one of the deciding points. Okay, while we do that, we're gonna replay the level chat, and I want I want everyone to watch the level, but yeah. also watch the Mexican runner too. You you can watch every point where he stops and he he sweat wipes. Uh, he gets ready. You can almost see he's like mind prepping himself at at certain points. In the level he he stops and it's it's almost like you're talking to yourself sometimes as a speedrunner right like there's a lot going yeah. in your head at this moment right can or... i go with you in the video because you know i would like maybe to point out certain things like especially the cloud that i, I was telling about yeah so no um would you are you the type of speedrunner where in these nervous points does your mind draw a blank and you essentially just take over or are you really talking to yourself a lot well, I mean, like like every speedrunner, and especially in this game, that you don't have like a set speed, like let's say like in Mario Bros. 3, right? Like you get the P speed, it's the same speed all the time, right? There is no like some no, kind of yeah, essentially uh, it's an adventure same, yeah. island that you have three different kinds of P speed. <laughs> but well, in this one, every single double tap you do, it can be a time loss, depending on how long it takes you. Yeah. So... I have to constant focus a lot. Like I have to jump as soon as I get into the platform. All that is gonna cost me time or not. <laughs> so well, that, let me that, well, let, let me give it to you an example. When I, when I was doing this with uh, with Darby, and he said once you get to those certain points, for him, he just lets his muscle memory uh, take over. Um, yeah, whereas, I mean, whereas it's, someone it's, like uh, me, like when I get past like world record pace in mario 3 and i get no hands i'm talking to myself a lot like sure i'm letting my muscle memory take over but i'm telling myself you know calm down uh everything's okay yeah, I mean, this that, is your that, chance that, that, that is that is how you react like to to be nervous that's what i mean yeah, yeah. i was wondering if you're the yeah. kind of person who like your mind draws a blank and you, your body just takes over or do you talk to yourself a lot and really help yourself mentally through the process so I, I think some people do react slightly different in those times but yeah yeah everybody reacts different i i think i'm the kind of guy who i i, I can focus depending if i mean i can easily speak while doing this but uh but i wanted the record so badly as you see like in those rhinos i'm just closing my eyes yeah look at this the, my, the blow face it, and you're it, like yeah man it's just like the white like, and... because i know i know i'm I'm in a very good pace. You're there. You're there. That's it. You're there. Yeah. So, yeah, I could be perfectly talking to myself, uh, but this game doesn't let you too much to talk or reach out while you play it. It just, I just feel doesn't you let you. It has, it has no downtime. Okay, so I'm paused so, at 12, 12.02. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally destroying the run, the game, and... And it's not over. I mean, the last wall stopper is the Dark Queen. Okay, and so... not completely. Not completely, but uh, hold on. I'm going yeah, yeah, no, to okay. get to the, the 12.02. Um, 12 he was breathing into his mic a lot. I know, I know. I heard it. But I mean, it's, it's instead of trying to control yourself, that, that happens to me too in Mario 3. When I get nervous, I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I must be breathing so heavily into the mic. But you shouldn't be like worried about that, you know? You just, so what kind of thing? Well, I mean, in a certain way, you're used to like, like, no matter what you do, you're gonna fuck up the run, right? Like, you know that for sure. Like, well, I mean, that is my kind of mindset, how I approach, like, you know, why to get nervous when no matter what you do, but like, in this particular case, when you're that close, like... This is the run you what? get attached to. 
you, right. you, yeah, you have to get attached. There, there's no other way. Like uh, as I told you, after the Klinger Winger is the orb fight. Yeah, that is the moment that you really get attached to the run, and you try all your best, focusing the most. But right here, the Dark Queen fight. Let me explain something about her. Like if you double tap and hit her, uh, you get a con a constant like headbutt, right? Mm -hmm. But if you do just punches on her it is rng what kind of punch you get you can either get like a boot in the air you can get like a super mega punch fist you can get a ground punch the ground punch will bring her down and that is uh something you have to react to there is multiple ways of killing this um this boss but um of course, as a speedrunner, you want to kill it the fast way. So I'm going to put play in the in the fight. Well, there's something to explain. Like, if you hit the Dark Queen, like, a little bit late, mm -hmm. uh, she will trigger the knee attack. And whenever she does that, she stays in the ground. Because normally when you hit her, she's going up, 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 higher up. And after two or three hits, like, you cannot hit her anymore. She starts to turn into a tornado and, and start hitting you yeah um, so the way we can manipulate her is by hitting late so that uh, triggers the knee attack and even the toad gets kind of hit uh, um, but uh, that is the way we keep her in the ground so now having said that i'm gonna play here yeah i'm um, at 1202 i'm gonna play as well okay, okay so three two one go go so the second and third punch i got i got the um, I got a hit, like, like a, well, <laughs> we will go back. But, uh, we will, yeah, we will. I, I when, I first, when I first watched this, I was like, oh, he's just doing the same thing. He's just juggling no, her in the air, no, but no, it's no, not no, like no. that. No, 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 it's just... You're reacting to the RNG effect hits that you're getting, right? Punch, boot, fist, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to go back. Yeah, yeah, okay, we can go back. I'm going to go back to 202. I'm not even going to pause it. I'm just going to keep rewinding it back to 212. Right, I'm just gonna go back to 12. Okay, so now you're yeah, going 12, again. 12, 12, yeah, so the third punch, you can pause that one. Like the third hit I do in in her okay. is just after the after the second fist. Uh, well, I mean the second punch was a fist, right? Yeah, to the wall, and yep. that is totally intentional. I could have just dash and and go and hit her in the wall, uh, so I can keep hitting her. But that second punch was intentional part of the setup. So. Uh, because I stay in the same place, I can jump and hit her immediately. But just jumping and hitting her is not going to guarantee you that she's going to land. So I, I walk a little bit towards to the left. So I'm in the left side of her hitbox while doing that third punch. Mm -hmm. It is part of a setup. It's very precise. It can happen that you just screw up and you don't get it. So the fact that I was there, that is why she went down, like all right. the way down. Usually it just gets up. Yeah. Oh, she went right down there. Now you're going in for your fourth headbutt. Now you're going in another ram ram yeah, hit. The fourth. Yeah, yeah. Now, now it's just. Um, well, also it's part of the setup. Like uh, she bounces in the wall. She has a different kind of uh, like. Sometimes she bounces right and stay high. Sometimes she bounces and stay low. But it's not RNG. It's depending on how many hits you do. So by doing the the third the three hits in the right side it will guarantee me that uh, when i hit her in the middle she's gonna stay high because if she doesn't stay high like what will happen she will return and kick you because she didn't win high enough so it's part of a whole manipulation we try to do of course different stuff can happen during this fight like i got a ground punch du during her her face oh wow i just rewind kind of too much yeah <laughs> it's okay like, the last level is awesome yeah, like this. This is like in in the twelve eleven. I got a ground punch there, and that really messed up like the the way I have to hit her. Mm -hmm. I just found out that this this record was beaten as well too. Yeah, it just. Uh, but well, let me point out that something right there. Yeah. After I beat the Dark Queen, of course I'm really happy because I knew already I beat the record. Uh mm -hmm. But something that. It is really annoying. I lose one and a half second due to RNG at the end. Okay, okay, I'm at 12.18. So yeah, we're timing these runs in SDA timing. Mm -hmm. 
So are you like 1226, seven? Almost. Okay, so you get the last kick. You hit her. Hit her again. Now she's going. She went upside down. I'm at 1225. 1226. 27. 28. 29. 30. Okay, I'm, I'm together with you. So she goes up right now. And uh, after Princess Angelica and people come down right here. So this screen can take one and a half seconds longer. It did in my TV. Why, why did it take one and a half seconds longer? RNG. There's no way of manipulating that. Oh, that's so that's so a big silly. fuck off of the game, man. I that's lose so one and silly. a half second with a perfect fight with the Dark Queen. I lose one and a half second right there. If I would have gotten a good RNG, it was going to be 1243.7 uh, this time. Damn. And what's the world record right now? 1242 I think two okay and that was that was bested just a, a week or two ago right yeah yeah but yeah that could see in RNG I lose one and a half second right there I mean if we will time this differently like once you do the last hit on the dark queen uh, my run will have been one and a half second faster but sadly yeah. we use the SDA timing which is a little bit weird. That's, un that's <laughs> unfortunate too. It, yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, and fun fact, my world record got beaten as well like a month or two ago, but it was not beaten. Like like I beat faster than Dark Queen, but the RNG screwed me up and, and the, the run that JC did was was slower than mine was still faster than mine so it, it was really fun yeah but I'm, I'm really happy he did break like the kind of controversial thing and he he went all in. yeah and, and i mean it's also to push the game as far as it can go right i mean that, that's yeah, ultimately course, the most the most the most important part the um, nature of the speed runs of exactly course. so yeah since we've gone through the run i'm gonna leave the run playing and uh i guess i guess we can start off and, and see if um chat uh, if chat has any questions for you, if you got chat open up, if there's any questions, yeah, that anyone... I, I, I do, I do have, I do have the chat open. Yeah, so... if anyone wants to directly ask you any questions, now is the chance. But uh, in between them, somebody asked me a really inter interesting question, which I want to ask okay. you because it also applies to me too. But I'm, I, I want to see what your answer is. And uh, I also play instruments as well, so I see where you're coming from. So somebody was wondering <laughs> about the connection between uh, great speedrunners and musical talent. Um, do you have any I, input on that? Has speedrunning yeah, helped do. you I, with I, music, I or has I, music helped you with speedrunning? How does that work with you? Well, I mean, it surely helps for speedruns, but uh, you know, like the connection between musicians and very good speedrunners, I think most of musicians spend a lot of time practicing their instrument, uh, learning and playing over and over again to learn a song and stuff like that. So speedruns <laughs> are in a certain way very similar very to that. Very similar, yeah. And like, it's almost like, as if our controllers are instrument, kind of, right? Yeah, exactly. The controllers are, are our instrument, yeah. And the, the visual so, is the sound, essentially. Yeah, of course, there are some things that you can use as a musician to have a, like a better... Uh, execution while playing video games especially using sound cues but the fact that m a lot of musicians are very good as well uh, with uh, with speed runs is is because they they're they kind of people that don't give up like immediately mm -hmm. because that that's what is is needed in order to be able to play any instrument especially when you start so yeah so <laughs> so when <laughs> so when someone comes to you and they're like oh i tried the guitar but i sucked at it so i stopped so you, when someone says that you know that they really didn't put much effort into it because they weren't amazing when they started yeah i mean that that that, that will tell me that as a speed runner they they probably won't reach really far <laughs> <laughs> they'll reset a couple I mean, times and be like ah this you know but it, it's also it's not yeah, their it's, fault it's, that it's, it's not it's, over appealing i mean sometimes yeah, when you, you know, actually course, think about course. it like resetting is is boring and honestly sometimes kind of lame, to to put it pretty frank. Sometimes I don't really feel like doing World One and Mario Three. I'm, I'm not gonna yeah, lie, yeah. I don't feel like it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is, it is. Like there there's time for everything, but uh, what uh, what pushes is uh, sometimes the love for the game. Like like for example, Baldur's was a game that it it really marked me when I was a, a kid. Uh, I I was able to beat it, and it was a huge achievement for me that I was. 
I was so proud of it. Uh, and I played the game over and over to beat it again, just to beat it again. And one more time, then I went warpless and I, I tried to beat the game as many times as possible. And well, I was not a speed runner back in the day, but I surely could have been already. Right? Yeah. <laughs> My nine-year-old self could have been a speedrunner of this game, but speedrun was not a thing. But uh, yeah. I was just so happy to beat this game. Uh, and the only person around was my brother who knew about games. Most of my friends, like, they had games, but they were not really into games. So the only person to fully appreciate the magnitude of what I did because my brother knew that this was a hard game. Exactly. And uh, I, I'm sure you yeah. and your brother used to game all the time together, right? Like co-op or two-player games. Yeah, I mean, we, we tried. Of course, he was older. So most of the time, he was always like uh, <laughs> taking advantage of, of it. I was the little <laughs> but, brother too, man. I, I feel you. I know. I always yeah. had to be like Donatello or Raphael. I never got to be, yeah. you know, Michelangelo or anything. Yeah. No, Donatello was good. But still, Donatello was yeah, actually pretty good. That, 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 that thing, yeah. Uh, but still, I mean, like we had fun. Uh, there were a lot of games that we were able to play together. The ones that not, we we had a rule like life and life, mission and mission, like to to pass the controller to the other person. Like if you die, well, you pass the controller. If you beat a stage, you pass the controller. So everybody was able to play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, right on, man. That was that was somebody else's question who had that. Um... Yeah, like how long it took me to beat all the NES games. Uh, well, I mean, that was a project that, of course, is the biggest <laughs> project I have ever done and one of the most ambitious projects on Twitch, I will say. Uh, so it took me 3,454 hours to beat all the, well, to conclude the project. That is just pure gameplay, of course, taking out edit editing time and other stuff. Um, it was it was a long journey. It was a, it was an achievement in gaming history, I think as well. Not not just as an individual accomplishment, but I think it was yeah. uh, um, something that I think gamers everywhere can share for a very long time, very long time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and the fact that still to today I'm I'm the only, well well not not really the only the, like some people has finished in Virtual Boy. It was seventeen games, but you know like NES was the beginning of kind of modern gaming. We can say. Or at least for for my age, that was the first console I ever knew, and it was so hard. Many of the games were really hard because there was not a consensus of what would be a good game or how to make difficult exactly. a game. Exactly. As kids, we just, just plug it in and go. Yeah. <laughs> Even when I was a kid, there was there was no bad game or good game. It just always was to me. If that yeah, makes yeah, any it was, sense. It was, it was just I never played a game. Yeah. Yeah, I never played a game and was like, "This is bad." You know, I never did that. But it's now like, that I think oh, of it, you know, I should have done that when play I played. Water or that. <laughs> <laughs> and I never did as well. But yeah, I, yeah, I mean, like exactly, man. Like, like the fact that you were able to, like, like today you have like thousand games, so it's it's, it's really easy for people. Oh, this is a bad game. I just play another one. But you know, back in the day, like you have, you know, maybe counted money to to have one game, two at the time, three. If you were lucky, if you had friends who had another three cartridges so it was kind of not many games that you were able to play back in the day but yeah still, like, exactly a lot of people got to play some of the games and this was one of the games that i was lucky able to play and now i did have this game as a kid i didn't didn't play it much couldn't get through the turbo tunnel like like most kids so i i stuck with uh some other <laughs> games but certainly had this game as a kid 100 percent um wow with that being said, so, I mean, on top yeah. of all of that, what exactly does, like, speedrunning uh, mean to you? Now, I know we talked about, like, the correlation between, like, music and speedrunning, but, like, like what mm -hmm. is it that, that, like, what does it mean to you? When you think about speedrunning, do you, do you initially just go straight to, oh, playing games fast? Or are you, are you one of those people who is, it's like a close thing to your heart, like, it, it, it's super what? important, it's like... What, what I, well, I mean, I started speedrunning, like, in, in 2013... Mm -hmm. And uh, it was new to me, first of all. Um, what, what, what really me, got me into speedrunning, well, I watched speedrunners, but the fact that it was possible to get a world record, uh, meaning being the, the, the fastest completion in, in that particular game, that was something that uh, it, it, it kind of fit my competitiveness. Competitiveness, my comp yep. Com yeah. I was just. Uh, 
it put like so valid don't... like it validated your runs it made your runs more important i guess in a weird sense is that what you're trying to yeah. say yeah i mean the the fact that like uh, if i was able to to beat somebody else's time i would be like the world record holder like you know just like the best person in the world beating this game i i was i was just like uh, i think it, it got me into speed running like trying to go for a world record uh I, I never really approached speedrunning for the sake of speedrunning, getting a good time in a game or something like that. It just it was getting a world record. I think that was what got me like I I, I want I want to do this, and the fact that I um, I knew this game very well, very well because I played it multiple times as a kid. I was like, well, maybe I can I can I can try to get the record in this game. Then I saw the video of the world record and I was like, wow, this this is a task. <laughs> yeah so yeah i mean it was it was just too good to be true and i was like wow so are you that? grateful that your want was the the want for the world record was more than how depressing it was to see that you actually weren't the best at this game when you first saw the world right like you discovered speedrunning right and then yeah when you discovered it already to yourself you're like i'm really good at battle toads like i'm amazing like you knew you were good so yeah and I knew, you, you I wanted the world record good. But the first yeah. time you watched the video of the world record, <laughs> did you get sad or was that like, was it an eye opener? Because th uh, like, I, I, I just thought like, how the hell am I going to even be this? <laughs> this is perfect, man. Exactly. <laughs> yes. that, that, that was my thought. I was like, oh, <laughs> I got a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, wow. I kind of started and and I started putting a timer and that you know also also that was a, a motivator like like just putting a timer when I was playing the game definitely motivation a personal best oh okay I beat it in this time oh nice oh I can beat it even faster oh yeah I can save time here and you know like eventually the time keeps getting down 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 until you are already like in world record level yeah exactly and that is, uh, yeah, that, that, that is just something really huge and unique. But yeah, definitely the journey was was long. It took me like uh, two months, two months and a half to get uh, my first world record in Battletoads. That's insane And it was too, still not yeah. the any percent. It was a category that was not that very much played, including myself. I didn't play that much. I knew the world record was very doable there. Just... I feel like everybody was doing kind of any percents, like back in the day in that's 2013. What... That, that, that was like the main category to go, right? Exactly. Any percent, 100 percent. That's really all that was was really developed in most games. And then even yep. uh, before that was the, the segmented was s such a hype in some speed runs. Speed yeah. any, any game that had saves, people were were jumping all over the, the segmented. You'd have uh, Ocarina of Time beaten in 73 set. You know what I mean? Like they had they had that for like a while, too. And. And uh, certain Metroid games and segments. So that's, it's really cool that a lot of people don't know um, about the, the old speedrunning when it comes to uh, categories. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, like Super yeah, Mario now, World. Now, now it has been more settled. Like uh, a lot of people know like where to go and watch exactly, world records. But exactly. before it was just like there were three sources like uh, Nico Nico videos. Uh, I remember Nico. YouTube, yeah. And, YouTube uh, barely. It was such an unreliable source because video. Yeah, I mean, it's unreliable because sometimes you didn't know if it was a task, if the guy was cheating, or it's it's nothing, but uh, at least it was good as a reference, right? That's where SDA really, really built really their reputation, out, yeah. yeah, because you of knew course. that those runs were verified by people who played your game. Yeah, so and, and I shared, were if we're talking stories here, I shared the same thing with you, but mine wasn't so much, I need to get this world record. Mine was, I want to be published on SDA. That was my number one big thing. That's what I yeah, wanted yeah. the most. I wanted to be a part of this community so bad that the only way I could, because there wasn't streaming, nobody knew you exist. The the only yeah. way you could was if you got on the speed demo. So that that's that's what mine was. So with yeah, th yeah. with that, I think I have another question here, and I think you answered it, but it was going to be why Battle Toads, and I think you actually kind of kind of uh, answered that question. Yeah, Battle Toads is just because it was my favorite game as a kid. Yeah, childhood uh, memories and stuff, yep. And probably out of all the games, it was the one, the only one I really knew and remember till today, and I was able to be that wheel. How does it feel to have a childhood game like that? Well, I guess the same thing applies to me with like Mario 3, but in your perspective, how does it feel to I have... did play Mario 3 as a kid. Uh, well, I think we all did. 
<laughs> yes. Everyone did, yeah. But um, how does it feel to have what? No, how does it feel to have that childhood game? To like, when you were a kid, you just played it. It was fun, it, and it turned into a memory as you as you went to school. Like, you probably didn't play this game much in high school, right? Or even before high no, school. No, 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 no. Put no, it down no, no, for no. years. I, and years. I, I totally like after kind of nine, eleven 10, years. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just played when I was nine, ten, eleven, and that was it. That was yeah. it. I, I stopped playing the game. It had a very special place in my heart because, as I told you, it was one of my biggest achievements uh, back in the day. Now it's definitely is NES Mania beating all the NES games, but uh, but but still, like they have the same value to me. Like beating Baltus as a kid and beating NES Mania, they, they they're pretty much in the same in the same size. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, exactly. It was, it was just huge. And uh, why Baltus? You know, as soon as I I found a video on YouTube, the, Ma the Mario Bros. Uh, under five minutes or something like that. It was that task that I didn't even know, know it was a task. And my brother uh, and me were thinking, oh, maybe it's just a Japanese player, you know, both those really <laughs> skills. Yeah, sick super player, skilled. Super skilled humans. Uh, but, uh, but somehow that led me into task videos. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try to check Baltos. And then the fact that it was like... Uh, I remember playing Baltus with my brother, and we never get past the, the. No, uh, I mean we passed the rat race, uh, but we 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 got like to the death screen that was the in in uh, what is, uh, the clinger winger, yeah. where you cannot play with two players together in the U.S. version. It, it is a bug, sadly. Weird. So. But then, then I checked the task and, and I saw that the toad was coming back, like for the level 12. And I was like, what the hell? Like the two <laughs> toads in level 12. So I, I immediately showed that to my brother and, and it was really amazing. So one day after I started streaming, we decided to beat the game and well, we were able to. It was of just... course, I had a lot more experience, so I, I was able to to. to you finally got to beat safe. your brother. Finally, you finally. Oh, got no, to... no, 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 no! <laughs> I, I beat my brother when I was a kid. Actually, my brother just told me, like, like kind of recently, like, man, I, I remember, like, when we were kids, like, we just there was a point where where you just got like really good at games and. Then, yeah, I mean, like you were almost not dying. <laughs> I, I, I had that, that was but... like, most of the time. I don't remember that. I, I remember like. <laughs> I don't know. It was so weird as a kid. The the concept of being really good at a game, it was never like I don't know. It was never a thing. When I when I plugged in Mario three when I was a kid, I was never like I need to be super good. Like it was I wanted to just have so much fun. Yeah, and I feel so like so much fun. Yeah, it, it being, was just just pure fun. Man. Yeah, and I, fun. I I think subconsciously being really good is that fun that I was referring to. Being able to beat those levels super fast was fun. But to me, I didn't look at that as being really good as a kid. I looked at that yeah. as fun, where the average person was like, I want to collect all the coins. That's what's fun for me. But for me, I was like, I want to beat this level. I never want to get damaged, you know, or something like that. So, uh, weird that, that, was, that was really cool. And, and yeah, I mean, pretty much I, I, I had the same drive when I was a kid with Balt. It's just I beat the game once and I was like, wow. I was able to beat this game and I played again and again and again. So I did Warplus and I was trying to, I was going in level three for a bunch of lives, a bunch of lives to survive. Then I was eventually trying to beat the game without grabbing those bunch of lives. And, you know, just putting myself like some kind of challenges. Exactly. Very so, cool. You know, having fun with the game, but you know, that, that's really weird, like for, for being a kid, but, but that, that is what was fun for me. I mean, like I had the game, some others were like, ah, oh, blah. But this one was like I could play in many different ways. Yeah. Now I think I have some questions, but you've you've actually managed to answer a good chunk of them. I mean, I was going to ask you your biggest achievement in speedrunning, and 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 it was this until you said in the future the Nest Mania well, thing mean... kind of took over. But that that wasn't so much a speedrunning thing, right? That was a that was a, a man mission right there. Yeah, man mission. Of course, it's it's not speedrunning itself. It's Heal something legendary that was done. Well, if you ask, if you ask Twitch chat, they will say there's a world record for all NES games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm I guess. sure they will say that. But yeah, as as far as it comes into speed running, yeah, definitely getting the world record in this game is something that uh, that is really amazing. It's just, yeah. it's just, 
I think I think the 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 tie in with the childhood is what really makes it uh, so important. So special. Yeah, exactly. So special. So last question I have, and uh, I know uh, a lot of people will be interested in this one. Well, just just before the last question, I saw I saw one question there in chat from Macaroni. Sure. Uh, He said he asked uh, if I will speed run. There's a new category that uh, in the in the glitch that we were talking about in level three that you can just warp to the credits Mm -hmm. and you basically with the game if i'm interested in running that not really the I, oh I, it's like that. an ace I, I, right like a wrong warp yeah oh battletoads yeah, has got one it, now too huh yeah kind of <laughs> oh the yeah, game's got just... these wrong warps man wrong warp categories <laughs> suck no offense to anyone who likes these wrong warp categories they suck man they're not they get draining so fast they're so boring it's three and a half to five minutes of just when i mean when you skip the whole game i just it's when i don't like it i mean i do glitches and stuff like that but i i I try to keep the minor glitches right party trick everyone in chat party trick guys come on mitch did the (laughs) ace for smb3 i did i did and i tell the story all the time i wasn't even supposed to do the wrong warp at gdq that year i just finished warpless so fast that i had like nine minutes before i hit my my scheduled time and i just asked you know yeah that, that was really amazing <laughs> you know it's just i mean it was fun for the first month it came you should learn it though i mean you should figure it out and see how it works i but i wanted I- to learn it for nest mania but then i was like well you know what i will just be turbo tunnel blind so, uh, <laughs> and i did celebrate that but yeah i wanted also like like to do that yeah one. And i would say told me that there is like a setup a consistent setup in a certain way well i mean regardless i would say just learn it just just so you can you know just, yeah, you just it's a new just, thing just to the game my friends right that, that is the thing like hey listen you want to see something cool and then, yeah it takes five minutes right your, your friends your friends would be like yeah yeah we know you're the best at battle toads no, but not for SMB3. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 of course, SMB3. Doing that yeah. wrong warp. Yeah. That one's a free party trick, yeah. Okay, so, last thing, last question I was going to have, um, and you kind of sure. mildly just answered it now, but um, I know you're doing a lot of Cuphead and stuff like that, obviously, because the game's just unbelievably fun for you. There's probably just something about it that you just really, really like, but what are your future plans for speedrunning? Like, what, what, what's things we can see? Like... Even if you have Man, an idea, like three years from now, do you have, do you have any idea, or you just kind of fly by? I on mean, the like, seat? like since the very beginning, my only plan when I started speedrunning, my only plan was playing Battletoads. But I achieved the world records in that game, and then that is when I start looking for more games. That's why I play Contra, Darwin Dog, and Simpsons, and so on, others. But uh, but when I finished Nesmania, once again, it was just get the record back in Baltos, which I did. Sadly, now I lose it. <laughs> Are you going uh, back for it? I it's mean, your, I will go in the, in the future. I will, I will go in the future. Yes, I will. I will. This game has a special... It's a special uh, place. That's right, man. I feel that same place thing. In my heart. It, the only thing that people might not be aware of, this game, out of all the games I have ever speedrun, and a lot of speedrunners that I have interviewed and everything, this is the one that hurts your finger the most, man. The left arm will die. You will get a callus insanely insane. On your it's D-pad? Just, in the D-pad. It's yeah. just too much double tapping all the time. That jumps that it just is so painful. Like, after after two hours, it just turns into pain two. first. Okay. Yeah. That, I you can understand that. More than two hours. Yeah, and for, Jason for... had the same. Tionic had the same, which is another top speed runner. There are some other speed runners, but uh, they didn't. They don't have sub thirteen times, so still like the dash jumps don't have to be on point all the time. Yeah, <laughs> Mario three, I can't go longer than five. Like five hours is five, six hours, depending on how my thumb's feeling, because I'm holding yeah. right the whole time for so long, right? I'm never letting so, go of right. So I complimenting your, your question, I really want to. Uh, ju- well, just this one because the special. Uh, place that it has for me and uh, i have been trying to kind of quit speed running but you're just like keep coming back man 
Can't get yeah, he just keep coming back. It's just, I, 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 it's the competitiveness that I want to have the world record. I want to say I'm the best at this game. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I totally understand. So I mean, it just, it just kind of bring, brings me back. So, so it did for Cuphead, like, like the categories right now, like in the glitchless category, not glitchless in the legacy. I have pretty much all the world records except for glitchless categories that I don't. Can I you like. let, can you let go of a Cuphead record though? I don't know, man. Like, like that game definitely. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. So, 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 are we gonna see some uh, moderation Mexican runner in the future? So maybe, moderation maybe we're in Cuphead. No, in in just speedrunning in general. Are we gonna see uh, one day two hours of Battletoads, then four hours of Cuphead, then the next day? Um, a different game for a couple hours than Cuphead for well, a couple I, hours, or are you I, just I gonna... was thinking like like I I, I, see, I see I have a, a open field right now. Like uh, I would like well, I mean there's a lot of games that were gifted to me since <laughs> since many years ago on Steam. Mm -hmm. People wanted me to play their favorite games, including Dark Souls. So I will I will just try <laughs> Look, to yeah, someone play said Dark Souls in casually. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I would just try to play kind of uh, have some fun like with a little blind, cash blind playthroughs. Well, I mean, I'll just get uh, get uh, in touch with the modern world because I was so much into retro that I, I mean, I like the retro games a lot. Definitely, two D games are ah, my favorite. You have some catching but, up to do, is what you're trying to say. But yeah, I do have a lot of catching up, like just to see what gaming is right now, and you know, to have some kind of background, right? Being a kind of a god in NES in a certain way. Like, people still ask me about modern games, and I have no idea about them. So I would like to have an opinion, an honest opinion, uh, forged by playing games, rather than just reading somewhere in the internet. Oh, this game looks like that. But, you know, it's that's the, good. It's, that... not the, it's not the same looking a game. That's but, good, though. I mean, there might be a game that I might spin on. That I kind of always wanted. It's just Adventure Island too. Yeah. I just noticed, okay, I was watching um, Infested Richie the other day, and I, I've never, ever even heard of Adventure Island 2, 3, and 4, and I saw that Adventure wow. Island 4, right, right? That's what I'm saying. I, I never, played those it, games as a kid. Man. I never played wow, those man. <laughs> See, I, I feel you because they're great games, man. They're great Right, and games. I just found out that Adventure Island 4 was like a Metroidvania, and I was like, where's the ROM? <laughs> like, I want to I love Metroidvania games. They're so much fun. And I had no idea, so... I'd be looking forward to, you know, seeing games like that in the future. And it, it's good to see that um, you're taking a break. Uh, safety first. And by safety, I mean go easy well, on I mean, your hands. I'm taking always. a break, man. This weekend, we just got 14 more records. <laughs> Cop in Cophead. So oh it's my not gosh. exactly like a break, but well, you can call it a break. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, right? I mean, fr holy yeah, crap! We just destroyed the the Cuphead Cop. Uh, Co yeah. The second, well, I mean, the the best player, one of the top players as well, Multiluigi came here, and we have a weekend very intense. Very intense, Full yeah. I saw you guys and tackling world records after world records after world records. So I yeah. felt bad because I kept coming in. You gonna be ready for some, you know? <laughs> but you guys nailed it. That was good. So, um. Yeah, yeah I it think... was cool. So probably yeah, some more speed running in the future. Um, I would definitely would like to go to SGDQ. Me too. And because I, we have to submit well. games, so that's why maybe something fresher for me, like for my stream, it can be cool. So maybe Adventure Island too. I don't know. Very good. It's a game I good. always love. I have the mode, right? Did I you need not to give a reason? Huh? Did you not have time to enter in the twelve-hour challenge? You could have done Adventure Island too for that. Actually, I could. I. I well, it's just the whole month, right? The 12-hour challenge? Beats me. I'm more of a spectator than a participator. I have no idea. I just know it's this time of the year. Yeah, it's this time of the year. Well, maybe, maybe. Yeah. When I will find the time, I will. it will definitely be cool to learn that game. And definitely, I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> blind in the game. I mean, not blind. I have beaten the game twice, but, uh, but that's it. Ooh, I don't know if they'll accept that. Wow, it has to be blind totally? No. I think so. I think I think you have to be blind to this speedrun aspect of the game. I, I, I'm not ah, sure though. I'm not speedrun sure. aspect? I'm blind. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know. You, you probably have to like read the rules or something I have like never speedrun the game at all. I mean, I just... All I did is... Did, well, I mean, I will figure out that out. All right. Well, lastly, is there any advice you have for anyone watching 
this morning and then for later tonight whenever I rebroadcast this at 9. Is there anything that you have to say uh, to anyone out there who's looking to get into just speedrunning in general? Do you have any advice for anyone? Um, my first advice I always give is uh, put a timer while you beat the game. That will be your first PV. And when you replay the game again, even if you don't have any speedrun strat, just put a timer and and set up some splits. So it will be very motivating to go against that time and see that you get a green split. Oh man, I'm saving a bunch of time and you will get into speed running in no time. That 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 happened to me and I think it's a great way. Yeah. Don't get too frustrated. The world records currently are really sick. So put just milestones like like what I did in Contra. I was not planning in taking ever a world record in that game. Really, honestly, I never planned that. But I was trying to beat the next time in the leaderboard, the next time in the leaderboard. And I went like that, one by one, until I reached the world record. Yeah, you just kind of build yourself up. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, like just beating a time is like, oh, yeah. But sometimes you have to modify the strats to beat the next time. And yeah, that, that's when you start to be more complex. And yeah, just have fun all the way. If you can find the people who is also speedrunning the game, you can share strats. Uh, but yeah, it's really fun speedrunning. Don't be afraid to approach the community. Most of the people is very friendly and is very willing to help you to share their strats. And, and in general, it's... It's really good uh, speed running, as long as you take it the the way uh, in a proper way and speed run a game that you love. Yeah, that's don't it, that don't like. try and push yourself uh, yeah. on a game. It, it just you you'll you'll get burnt out and you might have some negative feedback on yeah, you know that game. Exactly. You don't you don't want to speed run a game and say I hate this game. You know you never want that to happen. Yeah, and, and it's gonna show up as well. Like like if you're not feeling okay with the game, like it's just gonna show up sooner or later like for example a lot of people wanted me to speed on super mario odyssey i play the game but i just didn't feel the click i feel that it didn't make the click on me so but but compared cophead immediately click on me so that's why i speed on the game and you know i never play like a modern game but but this one was just like perfect for me <laughs> the, the most lame advice that i've ever given to anyone and like this is so lame but i always say that the game finds the player always because you you just you just go in with an with an open mind you're just like ah, i feel like playing this game sure and then all of a sudden boom the game just has you the game just takes you over and then yeah, yeah. that's it that's you play the game and it's the game for you that's just the game yeah. for you like this game new when this game was made, Battletoads was like your game since you were a kid, and it's true. Yeah, it, it hasn't yeah, been yeah. it hasn't been wrong the, the, the entire time. You've had yeah. the record, you've yeah. gotten it back, you've lost it, gotten you know, and you've inspired people too. You've probably inspired some of your greatest competitors. Yeah, actually, Darby and the interview last week it was I, I was one of the first streamers he watched, and he was just uh, like, well, they're like really impressed with speedruns in general. So there you yeah. go. All right. I, well, I, I'm not saying I inspired directly Darvian, but surely a lot of people. Yeah, I did. And not only with speedrunning, also with Nesmania to never give up. <laughs> never give up. That's that's exactly it. You can't achieve anything if you give up, right? And why put in the time yeah. if you're just gonna go up later? Never give up. Yeah. Right on. Well, I hope you I hope you enjoyed. There's a lot more to Battletoads than uh, I had originally anticipated. So if you do go back to speedrunning this, uh, it'll be. A lot more exciting, I hope, for me and a lot for more people. We have a lot more stuff to look out for. Yeah, there, there is a lot of hidden stuff that is just really amazing to share in that game. Right on. Well, yeah, thanks. and everything happens too fast, but yeah. <laughs> it does happen very fast, yes, even even on a video playback where we can pause. But um, yeah, yeah. I, I hope you I hope you had a lot of fun, and thanks, thanks for coming out and, and sharing that with us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks uh, to you and your audience for tuning in, and and yeah, I hope you like <laughs> the interview. I, it, was, I, it was fun. It was fun being here with you, and all the best uh, for you in in future interviews as a speedrunner and as a streamer. All the best thank, for you. Man. Thank you very much, man. You have yourself a good rest of the day. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Take it easy. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. What did you think? Did you guys did you guys enjoy 
There's Battletoads is amazing. There there's there's so much there's so much going on in Battletoads. That is That is that is oh man, that is that was a very oh, learned so much, man. Another great interview. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys had so much fun. Sorry, <laughs> we, me and the Mexican runner messed up our time zones. We we apparently decided to make plans. Um, that, where, 